I like living with lots of these um, images. I just like looking at them. Life's got loads of other wonderfully plain things. The sky is wonderfully plain at times, and you know, there's lots of things that are wonderfully, wonderfully plain and beautiful. Even though I spent so much of my life on farm, and when I got married as well, just helping, getting out, helping my farm, having children, I've got six children, as well as that, I've done a lot of reading, it's, especially my early life, was all of those, the great myths of the world, Greek myths. So I was sort of wandering around a lot of the time thinking about how we might connect to an ancient myth. So that a great volcano, a big round kind of shaped oval, round one basically, might be this ancient palace and the Minotaur it just, well, it just occurs to you. And us human beings have got the kind of mind that can imagine it. I mean, animals can't imagine anything like that. No. But we can. We can imagine all sorts of strange and unusual combinations and exciting things and exciting stories to go with them. You know, it gives our minds a little twitch and it jolts us out of sort of straight reality, which is quite nice, as long as it's not a nasty jolt. To be truthful, I think it's one of the things to be human that we've got this. Humans are the only animal that does this, and I think it's a part of showing what it is to be human. <laughs>